I'm sitting next to an old pal of mine, the magnificently gorgeous, sexy, beautiful Sybil Diane. Woo! If only you were my fan. Oh, I'm sure, honey, you've got millions of fans that feel the same way I do. And I, also, I want to say all you beautiful women out there, too, because I have about 50% men and 50% women fans. So, not just the men, also the women are my fans. Anyone that sees any of your films can't help but be a fan because you have everything going at the right time, moving at the right time, and being shown elegantly at the right time. You're not cheesecake, honey. You're not cheesecake. Anyway, I met Sybil at Perry Winkler's house, penthouse in Beverly Hills. That was the wife of Lee Winkler Global, the famous Beverly Hills uh, money investor. And in walked Sybil, looking absolutely divine. All the men in the room turned their heads and didn't stop looking. And out of all the people, she must have had gaydar or something, because she came and sat next to me. And we spent the entire evening drinking and chatting and having the most delicious time. Uh, I found her to be intelligent, intriguing, and so magnificently beautiful that I couldn't stop looking at her. Uh, so here she is today for you people. Now, I want you to know something. Many years ago when you bought a comic book, and it smelled delicious because you could smell the ink. Well, look what I've got here. And I'm going to let Sybil tell you all about it. And honey, speak up because we're, we're in a bad mood. Yes. Well, first of all, this is my comic book. And unfortunately, it didn't get done in time. And that's because I'm having it printed the old-fashioned way. Because I said, I do not want something that is digital. I want it so everyone can hold it, read it, smell it, and save it the old-fashioned way. So it will be out in November, and everyone can order it online at sybildanning.net, my website. But first I want to tell you what it is all about. This is a movie that was very, very successful worldwide. It actually, I'm very proud of it, because it actually went with four other action movies like Rambo and Commando into Russia when Russia opened up. And this is the only female action movie that went into Russia, so I'm very proud of that. Now, I don't own this movie, but I own this character. I played a LAPD cop who brings this wonderful actor that you all know and love, Wingshauser, into jail, but doesn't read him the Miranda rights. So she's axed from the LAPD, and she decides to take him down anyhow, and comes back as a bounty hunter and takes him down. So now we go to Ruger, the next movie. Ruger, my character that I own, is now a bounty hunter and I have a new screenplay of which my comic book is based on. And it's also going to be a apps video game as well. And it's also going to be a movie, a new movie called based on the gun rubric, and I'm very happy about it. Very well spoken and very well said. Now, let's get a little bit of private stuff and a symbol. I mean, on this table are so many films of hers, and I know you fans know each and every film, and I'm sure you watch them over and over again. Uh, for those of you who have not seen her films, go find her and look at her films. They're adventure, they're exciting, they're well shot, and she does a beautiful job in the films. Now they're in the midst of doing a, and I'm going to get this incorrect because her associate writer is standing by the baby grand piano, but he doesn't want to come on the air. I would love him to come on and just do two minutes about your book. Um, sure. The way you're dressed is fine. This is a convention. We're not in Hollywood. And <laughs> Sybil and you can both come over here. Introduce yourself, and you and Sybil both discuss what you're doing. How are you doing? My name is Scott Emerson. I am a comic book artist, and I am the artist on Sybil Danning's Ruger. And what a gorgeous job he did, my friends. Look Thank at you that. Very much. It's stunning. Yes, well, Scott is the wonderful artist who created this beautiful character on paper and in the comic book. And um, we are here to sell the posters. We sold the posters, and now the comic books are coming out. And Scott, you, you were working very hard on this. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your it's wonderful a, It was a pleasure and an honor. It was a lot of fun. Good. It took up my entire summer. It was just 
every single day. It yeah, but was you're a wonderful artist because you really brought out the true Sybil. I mean, you see she's powerful, yet she's glamorous and sexy, it, and she's not stupid looking. It, it was it was great. It was a thrill to be working on this project. I want to thank Sybil for, for um, you know, selecting me as an artist. And when I read the script, and one of the things that really stuck out was this woman really knew her hardware. I mean, she was making references to Desert Eagles, you know, P90 submachine guns. So the first thing I had to do was I had to do my homework. I had to go and start looking into all this stuff. And, you know, it's just like me, because I like to draw all that kind of stuff, you know, I had to make sure that that looked like a Desert Eagle. And, that looked like a P90. Uh, she was very specific about the truck that she wanted to drive, and I found that the truck to be a 1955. <laughs> it was a, it's a 1955 Chevy pickup truck, and and I went and I went on the internet and I went and found all these pictures of um, the, uh, the the 55 Chevy, and I sent the, the photographs over to uh, Sybil. She's just like, you nailed it. I was like, yes. So you know, it's just drawing that thing because it's a really cool truck, and when I would draw it, I would exaggerate it because of the way the lines are, I was just like, oh, this would look really cool if I made this a little bit more accentuated. Good. Now let me ask Sybil from something. Tell me now, why should I buy this comic book? What's your character about? What are you going to show me in this book that's going to make me like want to read every page fast? Well, first of all, it's a female. You superhero. Know. Yes, she's a superhero, and she does what the guys do, and that's why I picked Scott, because Scott has the femininity touch, but at the same time, he didn't make me look too soft, and he doesn't make me look like a man either. Or a but dyke. what he just <laughs> said, he knows his weaponry, he knows, he knows the cars, and he, he okay. draws. I mean, you should see the males in there. The males are incredible, and we have... Oh, we have gangs and gangs of guys in there shooting and things blowing up, and, and Scott was just wonderful. Let me bring it in closer so people can really get a good look at it. And she is, I mean, she is a bounty hunter, and she, her, the, the one line that's in there is her best friend is the major. Well, I'm sure she's gonna a solo I love person. Comedy. She is into her work. She's no nonsense. She's she has no background. She has no friend. No. No husband, no boyfriend, nothing. She is there to do her job. She's really like this yeah. where you don't know where they come from. You don't know, you don't know where she comes well, from. Sybil. You don't know anything behind her. And Scott you nailed it. You Sybil, nailed it. In Thank my you. book, in my book, Sybil, in person you're a superhero. I'm still impressed after 30 some odd years in meeting you. And let me tell you something, I'm in this company of you know, the legends of how I mean, I go to parties with the, the, the mega megas. Yes, yes you and do. I never forgot you. And when I saw you, I got so excited. I said to my husband, Jimmy, I said, Sybil, thank you. Oh my God, I haven't seen you in years. So my sweet, thank you so much for this lovely interview. Thank I wish you'd come on us. our TV show so we could do a lengthy interview yes. and talk about your wonderful comic book. And I'm sure, oops, I dropped it. And I'm sure everybody's going to want to subscribe to this comic book. Because if it's anything like Sybil and this fella, it's going to be real. And it's going to be wonderful. I trust Ron Russell. Ass. I blow That's smoke great. up no one's ass. You know that. You're going to go out and buy it because it's good. <laughs> buy everybody from me and... And by the way, it's Scare Tactics that put this out. Scare Tactics wonderful Graphics. Scare Tactics Graphics. Our Our wonderful, wonderful publisher. <laughs> And like I said, you can go on SybilDanning.net to get it and start. Where can they get it all from? SerendipityArtSales.net slash SEA.html. All right. Thank you, Sybil. See you in the comments. Love her. She's wonderful. Bye, everybody.